Hi, Hi we're John and Leah. And today we are talking about inventions you did not know were British. Mm -hmm. Now there are lots of things that we've realised that are invented in the UK, which we're never taught that they've been invented in the UK. We just yeah. assume that they're other countries. Yeah, we just assume that no one bright has come out of the UK I know. <laughs> to invent something that is yeah. still going now. Which so. is probably very ironic because I think most people around the world think Brits are really intelligent because we sound intelligent and yeah. because of our history. Yeah, but really, uh, we just, over here, we think everything that's tech is from the US yeah. or China mm. or Asia. Yeah. Yeah. So these are six inventions you did not know were British or we did not know were British. No. First one first. Mm -hmm. The digital audio player. So like MP3. So like, you know when you were younger and you had yeah. a CD player that was yeah. like a portable one and it opened and you put the your Walkman. CD in. Walkman. Yes. Oh my gosh. People so that cool. were younger than us would never know what no. that even was. I don't think they even really know much about CDs. Like, no. They don't really see DVDs now. No. And before that, yeah, cassette player that you put the cassette yes. in. That's so, so cool. Crazy. And that was invented by Brits. Well, the digital ones. The first oh. digital ones. So I guess, yeah. I guess the first one, they're so all MP3, digital. Are they all digital? digital. Yeah. What, makes, what defines digital? What's I think... digital? Classic John Lear question. We don't yeah. really think. <laughs> What's digital? So Kane Kramer, a British serial inventor. Serial as in S-E-R. Okay. Yeah, not um, serial. Uh, invented the digital music player back in 1979, so it's got to have been. Yeah. So basically, That's cassette so cool. is not digital. No. But CD is. Oh, okay. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. CD. So that's a really big claim to fame because yeah. I swear a big cliche of a, of American cool kids back yeah. in the 90s were the ones listening to Walkmans walking down the streets street. in New York City like, yeah, yeah. bam, bam, bam. Yeah. You're like, that's a British invention. That was actually a British invention. Wow. Fair enough. Americans may have like run with it and done their own things off the back yeah. of it, but it was a Brit that invented it. Very good. So, holla. That's mm -hmm. amazing. That's so good. So the next invention that a Brit invented was the light bulb. <laughs> Which is like amazing. We should probably have known that. We probably should. That's a big deal. If someone was like, "Who invented the light bulb?" Could you say it straight away? Straight no. off the bat. Who was no. it? It was Sir Humphrey Davy in 1802, and then it That's says amazing. Joseph Swan 1879. So it must have been Sir Humphrey Davy first. Wow. That's and that's so a picture cool. of him. Wow. wow. He looks lit. He looks so, so lit. lit. He looks like he's having an amazing. He's like, I invented the light bulb. I invented the light bulb and I'm lit. I'm lit. He, like, a lot of people need yeah. to thank him because they he's, do. like, lit their selfies. Yeah. He is he lit. He paved the way for, like, light. Light. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from natural light, he is responsible yeah. for all artificial light. Yeah. Like, Thomas Edison gets all the credit. Oh, is he an American? Yeah, oh, I think so. I but it was you. actually prefaced by a Brit 75 years previously. Me. The guy said the yeah, first. Yeah, you need to finish David. reading the paragraph. Sorry. Sorry. So that's why you think it's an American, but it's really a yeah. Brit. Amazing. So it's not Thomas Edison. It's a Sir Humphrey, Humphrey. Davy. Well done, Humphrey. Sir Humphrey Davy. Don't Humphrey. forget, he's a sir. Sorry, sir. The Queen has made him a sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I feel sir. like that happens a lot, especially when women invent things. I've heard it, I can't think of an example, but where yeah. in history women have invented something and then a man has taken it and then the man gets the credit and you're like, actually, it was that woman that invented it. Oh. I've heard, I definitely heard oh, that. I feel like I've heard that, but with like writing. Yeah. And like in Shakespeare's time, like women might have written something, but yeah. he would have claimed it off as his own. Naughty. Don't know. But Let yeah. us know in the comments if you know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Because I can't think off the top of my head what it is. <laughs> okay, this one is actually really mind blowing. This is a good one. This is a really good one, and it's the skyscraper. So. Isn't that insane? Skyscrapers. Yeah. Born in the UK. What? Everyone's what like, on earth? Where are your skyscrapers at? I don't see yeah. the skyscrapers. Because everyone does skyscrapers better than the UK now. Like America has yeah. some of the tallest ones. Dubai, Dubai New like, York. Yes, yeah, Singapore, yeah. Japan. Everyone does have skyscrapers amazingly. Yeah. And, um, and, what we, and you come back to England and you look around and you're, you're like, like, they're small. <laughs> they're so small. <laughs> I mean, ours are really coolly designed. You've got one in the shape of a gherkin, one in the shape of a walkie talkie, another in the shape of a cheese grater. Oh, yeah. Like they've all got cool names. Yeah. But they're not that. They're, I mean, they are tall, but compared to other countries that not. don't impress me much. Exactly. Da, the Shard. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So. The Shard at the time was the tallest one in Europe, I think, and now someone else has beaten it. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It's a good fact. Yeah. So apparently Charles Barge, B -H, Beige, 
Pedro Barge, not sure how you say his name, mm -hmm. invented the skyscraper in 1796. Yeah. And it says here, everyone associates skyscrapers with the United States, mm -hmm. but their origins actually came in Shrewsbury in Shropshire of that's the UK. hilarious, that's such a rural town. It's so, so funny. And there's this picture here, which we will insert. Mm -hmm. It's five-story flax mill, which still stands today, is the oldest iron-framed building in the world. Wow. And its architect was, yeah, Charles himself. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, who knew? That, that did surprise me, because I think I could have been mm. unsurprised by like the music playing the light bulb, because, you know, Brits are clever, and yeah. the UK has been around for a long time. Yeah. But... A skyscraper, I thought that was fairly modern. Yeah, um, and it, it says the US, first yeah. American one was mm. the 10-story home insurance building in Chicago oh. in 1884. So that's like yeah. quite a lot later on than our guy in Shropshire. Yeah. So, so well there done. There you go. Okay. Well done <laughs> us. Pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> like anyway. yeah. Next one is the photograph. The photograph? Yeah. That's crazy. Sky... It makes sense though. If we invented the light bulb, don't they have big flashes? Yeah, and true. And it's like we invented the photograph so as like, well because it leads on. This was Thomas Wedgwood in 1790. Well, wow. this is the 1790s. But that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, we can take credit for these things because, yeah, they're British yeah. and they're. But, as I said, our country has been around for a long old time, yeah. so we've had more time to invent these things. Yeah, if you and I were born then, and we had all that time, we would have probably invented something as yeah. well. Like we but would have probably have we invented? invented, like we would have invented like either a card game, a food game. Food game. We would have invented yeah. some sort of like food challenge. We would have invented the Guinness World Book of Records. Yeah, we would have Before the people that did that did. But we might have invented YouTube. We might have been, like, yeah. like on a Friday night, we'd sit on the sofa like this and talk, talk to each other and, like, and then just be like, imagine if we could like film it. And like other people could watch our conversations. Yeah. <laughs> so a French guy way back when in the 1820s created photographs, but they were actually on chemically treated paper and they're not technically the world's oldest photos. Yeah. So his efforts go way back to our British mm -hmm. friend, Thomas Wedgwood, uh, 30 years earlier. And it was his idea of playing like a photosensitive, putting a photosensitive surface inside of a camera and doing all of the fancy schmancy things mm -hmm. that actually make a photograph. So yeah, another guy that's not getting the credit for the work he actually coined. Sadly, Wedgwood died in oh. uh, 1802 and he was only 34 years old, so he wasn't able to carry on. Wow. He, he's not an Instagram photographer. No. He's not doing, yeah, well, he wouldn't have Think been. of that brain. He invented that. He could have invented so much more. It's like crazy to think all those years ago, using what's available to you and your brain to go like, oh, I could do that. Put this light sensitive thing in this dark thing, take a photo, like, I ain't got put time it, for put it. Put it on paper, soak it in the paper, and then there's a photo. Like, what the heck? It's actually mind blowing. Yeah, it and now is. look at us just putting filters on on Instagram. Like, I know. Oh, I look pretty. I know. Isn't that is that? hard sometimes, having to choose a filter, like scrolling through, like, that one, or that, that one, or, or that, that one. one. It is yeah, hard. It is really hard. So, actually, I think we've got it worse. <laughs> okay, this next one surprised me because I thought this was a French word. But the guillotine was apparently invented in the UK. You yeah. know, so the one that chops, the, your, chops head your head off. off. Um, the only reason I know about the guillotine is because at school we learned about uh, Henry VIII's wives. Oh, Divorced, yeah. beheaded, died. Divorced, well, beheaded, beheaded, survived. survived. Yeah. So um, obviously the ones that got beheaded guillotine. would have been on a, a guillotine. Yeah, I remember going so, on a school trip where you could put your head in a guillotine and the knife would come down but it would stop at a block of wood. Oh my gosh. And then I was like, what if the block of wood like broke? Break. And then I'd oh be beheaded. My, oh my gosh, That's that scary. is awful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, despite being named after a Frenchman, oh. the infamous um, like guillotine was actually... The original guillotine actually came from England 500 years before the French Revolution. So... Yeah. We had it going Yet on. Yet again, the French are trying then. to steal our inventions. <laughs> yeah. First the photograph <laughs> and now the guillotine. <laughs> Alright, hands off. They're ours. <laughs> we actually coined it. I mean, it's not a very nice thing to coin, is it? Like, we invented no, the thing something. that chops people's heads off. But it, would you expect any less from bloodthirsty Brits? Not really. <laughs> no. No. People that just wanted to see people beheaded for yeah, for doing entertainment. Oh, for entertainment. Yeah, yeah, they all gathered to watch. Yeah, there was always an audience. Yeah. There. Imagine if nowadays they were like, "You guys, we're going to behead this person. and Would you want to come watch?" Probably people would turn out yeah. to watch it because, like, I physically you know, don't think I could. 
No, like, I know. Like, even if that was legal and that was totally normal, yeah. I don't think I could watch that. So, this next one is a bit controversial, but the next British invention is it's the telephone. telephone. Um, ding ding, give me a bell. It was Alexander Bell yeah. that invented the telephone, which mm -hmm. is probably why people say give me a bell. Yeah, that's I'll bell true. you, I'll bell, bell you tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe. I'll bell or maybe you. it just rings like a like, bell. Oh so yeah. Like, yeah, but it's really fitting, isn't it? Yeah. Like his name was Alexander so Graham cool. Bell. I'll bell you. I don't I know. know if that's just a really British phrase. Yeah, probably I'll is. I'll give you a bell. bell. Yeah, it means I'll, I'll call yeah. you. But apparently, so this he Painted the technology in the US, so lots of people think it was an American that invented it, but he was originally from Scotland. Yeah, he was born in Scotland mm -hmm. and then moved to Canada when he was 23. So it's a bit like, mm, who, whose was this? But it, yeah. He was, yeah, he's but we are from the United him. Kingdom, so yeah. let's let's call him a Brit, <laughs> although yeah. he's a Scot, but yeah, he's he's probably Scottish like, people are British. Um, they're Scottish, they're British. I thought they were Scottish. Yeah, they're Scottish, just like we're English, but oh, together we're, we're British. Oh, we're all United Kingdom. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know when Scots hate being called English? Yeah. I think that's what I got mixed up with. So, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, a, he's a Brit, he's a Brit. But not a, uh, not English. English. Yeah. yeah, don't never call a Scottish and Brit English, English sorry. Person. They would not like that. It's all very confusing. Just the same as if you call an English person Scottish, you'd be like, not Scottish. No, I'm not Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, he was our inventor of the telephone. Wow. So there you go. That's amazing that all those were invented in the UK. I know. Or not in the UK, but by Brits. Brits, by Brits. That's crazy. Invented by Brits. And what's, you know, the inventions now that you hear about, I guess there's less British inventors inventing good things. Well, I don't know. There might be. I don't we don't know. know for sure. I don't know for sure. I mean, where are all the inventors at? I feel like everything that could be invented has been invented. Yeah, I know. Do you Isn't know that what I mean? That's what's most amazing is they have the foresight to go, this could exist. And yeah. then they try and work it out. Yeah. But in my head, I can't think about what could exist. Yeah. Because I'm so Actually, like literal. You're quite good at thinking of things that would be convenient. Like yeah. you're always like, oh, there should be a biscuit shop that sells yeah. da da da. But not inventions. Not new things. Yeah. Not like, like I wish there was a way of, yeah. talk, of talking to my friend and they're not in the room. Yeah. So smart. Isn't that weird? What could be invented? The only thing I can think of is um, teleporting, but yeah. I guess someone's going to do it soon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if that's possible, but again, yeah. inventors would not that they would not let that stop them. Yeah, they just They're go. Just let's it. find a way. Yeah, let's find a way. It's amazing. Yeah, I couldn't be an inventor. Do you remember once when an inventor won The Apprentice? Yeah, and he called yeah, himself yeah, yeah. an inventor, and I was like, that's sick. So sick. Yeah, that's I remember such that cool guy. Title. I remember that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. That's our things you would not have expected to be invented in by Brits. Yeah. There you go. I mean, unless you're cleverer than us. If you yeah. are, leave us a comment down below. Be interested to know if you know these things. We didn't, so. Yeah, we didn't know no. any of these. So, <laughs> yeah, if you think we're really dumb, just let us know in the comments. Yeah, and give the um, video a like. And subscribe to our channel for mm -hmm. more British things. Yes, definitely. And come back soon. There'll be more videos. See uh, you Merry Christmas. next time. Merry Christmas. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.